What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting day because it's finally the first day that we're done with all the preliminary things and we're finally gonna do something that makes it look like we got some work done. In this episode, we're gonna be doing the spray foam insulation. So I went ahead and taped off all the wires, put some blue tape over all the places I don't want the foam to go into. Got all the wires secured up against the wall. That's important too, make sure you do that. And the only other thing I need to do is plastic off the front cabin and then plastic off the floor. Also, don't forget to tape off these things back here. You don't wanna cover these up with the foam. These are a uh, little pressure re release valve, so when you slam the door, it closes easier. Just wanna cover it up with some blue tape like that. There's one on each side. And also, before you cover everything in the foam, make sure you water test it every hole that you cut into the van. Uh, yesterday, I sprayed this with the hose and there was a very slight leak coming from here, so I added all that marine sealant and tested it again this morning and now it's good to go. I'm going to put a link for the spray foam insulation. It comes in two tanks, the A tank and the B tank. And this one comes with the gun assembly and all the little things you're gonna to need to make this work. So just use my link in the description and then you'll make sure you have the right one. The spray foam insulation is a little bit expensive, but it's definitely worth it. Not only do I think it, it insulates better than any of the other insulations, but it also adds a structural rigidity to the van, which you'll really feel when you're driving. In addition, when you use the spray foam insulation, the closed cell type like this, you also won't need to use any of the sound deadening that people stick onto the metal. And with the spray foam insulation, you're not gonna be able to hear anything outside. And in addition to that, you also won't need a vapor barrier because uh, the closed cell spray foam insulation like glosses over and it's uh, a moisture barrier as well. So for all those reasons, spray foam insulation is the best to use in my opinion. It takes a little while to prep everything and tape everything off. But once everything's taped off, it's literally five minutes to insulate the whole van. Okay, you can see we're all taped off. Made sure to tape off the two fans as well. And we're ready to connect the two tanks. Here's the kit here that comes with it. You wanna make sure this tank is about 75 degrees. So if you're doing this in a colder climate, you'll need to like soak it in like a warm bathtub or something. It actually has a temperature dial on it. So we're, when it's green, we're right at the exact temperature. 75 and um, I've connected the two hoses the red goes on this one the blue on this one it comes with a little wrench and it also comes with a little bit of this uh, petroleum jelly which we're gonna squeeze in here in the tip which will stop it or help to stop it from clogging up if you stop for a few seconds so it's pretty important to use. It comes with all these tips and you have to kind of work fast because they start clogging up. When they clog up, you just pop them out, put a new one in and just keep going. You've got um, fan spray, which I think is the blue ones, which um, I find the easiest to use. And the white ones I think are a cone spray. So we've got four of the blue. We'll use those first. The other thing you're gonna need is one of these suits. I'll put a link for this as well so you don't get it all over yourself. And a mask, I'll put a link for the mask I used to. So now we can just open the two tanks all the way. And then the first few sprays, you wanna spray into the cardboard box just until everything's mixed up. It won't cure the first little bit you spray out.
That was uncomfortable. <laughs> See, it's fully insulated. And uh, obviously I went lighter there because I'm having a cutout for the bed there. So I'll stuff a little fiberglass insulation in there as I put those boards in later on. That's it. Now I'll just come back with the belt sander and hit any spots that are sticking out. Check it out, all finished, fully insulated, and there'll be a couple little low spots and things that will uh, stuff a little more insulation as we're putting the walls and ceilings up. But for the most part, a couple little spots I missed, but for the most part, it's uh, pretty good shape. And the next step, we can start putting the ceiling up. Always put the ceiling up before the walls. It's a mistake I see a lot of people do wall comes up to hold up the ceiling, not the other way around. One other thing I didn't mention is don't insulate down in here, all these little crevices. There's uh, drains at the bottom of those. The paneling on the, the plastic paneling on the outside of the van is known to leak a little bit. That's why they have little drain holes in there, and that's normal. So you don't want to block that up with the insulation. So before I put the walls up, I could just put a little piece of uh, fiberglass insulation just to cover the hole, but I won't stuff it down in the bottom there. So that'll do it for this episode. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.